What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, sort of missed Friday, so we're here. Today's the weekend, today's Saturday, so um, I'm on job number six, and this is my first job, full job with um, my apprentice. He's not in today, so we're doing a solo mission. Um, I just thought I'd show you what I've done so far, but um, let's, uh, let's go for a walk. So. I've been on this job for five days so far, so it hasn't been too bad. We've been doing a different strategy um, on, this on this job. So what we've been doing is getting the run up, 21 courses, set the scaffold for that run, and then just brick it all the way up. And I found that it hasn't been too bad lately. Um, because as, as you can see, we've got the front and the right hand side and almost the back. So at the moment, this is where we're up to. I'm gonna do this. Um, I'll set a profile on that side. And then as you can see on that side, I, I built a corner for, um, where can you find this um, sort of content? Like where can we um, learn how to build a corner? <laughs> on our YouTube channel, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if you guys haven't seen that video, that was our last how-to series, um, how to build a corner. If you guys want to check that out, um, we'll uh, maybe put a link in the description or something. But um, yeah, just put a corner up there. Um, over the holidays, I went and did some shopping and um, I got myself one of these. I've got four of these. So this is, um, this is an extendable profile from the brick business. Um, <laughs> pretty much plugging the thing, but pretty much you unscrew this once the once the run is done. You slide it up to the fascia, as you can see. I've clamped it to the fascia as well, and um, you just keep going after that. So there's no resetting the profile. You just slide it up, clamp, and keep going. So it was a good investment. So um, I went and bought myself four of them. So come through here as well. So we've got um, this uh, pretty much the money wall really. So uh, a lot of um, yeah, a lot of bricks are going into this side. As you can see, I haven't made a start yet, but we're gonna have to sort of figure it out because um, as you can see down there, there's a little bit of an overhang as well. Um, there's only two of us on this job, me and um, me and my apprentice. So we're gonna have to sort of work it out um, yeah if you're uh, I, I made a post <laughs> it didn't get any activity but if you're a bricklayer um, in Melbourne's West and um, you're looking for work on the weekend or something like usual um, just uh, check out our Facebook page and we'll have work available um, sometimes on the weekend maybe um, uh, but yeah, if, you, if you're interested, um, check out our Facebook page and then um, we'll go from there. Uh, as I said before, today's Saturday, so I've got one batch. Um, I'm just going to use it to finish this off. Me and, uh, me and my apprentice, we sort of built this up yesterday, the whole back together. So we got up to here, it's Friday, so we just knocked off. Um, and yeah, finish it off, see if I can maybe do some seals or something. But Today's, today's Saturday, um, it's me and the missus out, so it won't go too hard. But um, hope you guys enjoy the video, we're going to get started, and um, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, guys. So the tires are on, as you can see. Um, can you show? Me? Yeah. Yeah. Tires are screwed on. Um, brickwork was uh, yeah. Join, brush. Oh, join, scrape, brush, join, drive, dry sponge, wet sponge, hard brush, all the, the whole lot. So there you go. Um, it's all done. So now we're gonna. Now we're going to do the last two, the fascia courses, and um, yeah, and then sort of take the scarf down, I guess. <laughs> yeah. If you guys have been um, following our channel for the past three months, <laughs> um, you'll notice that all our jobs have been on the fascia, but this job has been, this is our first job with, uh, with eaves. So eaves is that stuff there, sort of protrudes out and, it, and then we don't have to go on the fascia or oh, brick towards the fascia we've got up, finally got up to the part where it's it's fascia courses now um, so yeah the most annoying part I suppose uh, I was um, talking to the missus <laughs> uh, I want to eventually go to or move to um, double stories just because I think the the fascia, don't the last two fascia courses is um it's two courses but it's, it's pretty annoying I think. On double story, this is about thirty courses on a single story. Um on a double story you're only going another ten, another ten courses, forty. About forty between forty and forty six. So we'll have to see first because uh at the moment, um, there's only two of us on site, so we'll probably need a few more before we can consider that an option. As I mentioned before, um, we missed the Friday upload, and that was because I was a close contact, so it's been a nice solution for seven days. Um, if you're not from uh, Victoria or Australia, uh, the rule is that if you're a close contact, you have to self-isolate for seven days, and unfortunately that was the case. So it was a bit of uh, bad luck for the BBT business, but we're back. This is our first Saturday for the year. Um, had just over a week off, uh, just from laying bricks as well. Um, not including the isolation, but just over the Christmas break and um, sort of use that time to get ready for this year. Um, we uploaded a short as well. My missus actually made that short. So <laughs> uh, we were cleaning the, um, we cleaned the mixer. Got a few comments on it before on our GoPro video about how dirty it was. So put some work in. And um, it's brand new, which is good. <laughs> Back to brand new. But yeah. Also, went and bought some tools as well. Um, uh, oh, it's just there if you want to show them. Got a new joiner. Uh, sort of a, just the iron, iron one, I guess. 550 mil. This is alright. I was using the um, I was using the poly joiner before, but I feel like now that I finally used it, I think it's just um, it wears out too quickly because it's plastic. So I've gone back to using the like an iron joiner, so which is better. I mean, if you look at the joining here, just from using it, it looks quite alright, I reckon. Um, but yeah, sort of want to make sure our brickwork looks good, I guess. Oh, wait, sorry, I moved these bricks.
<laughs> I, was like, I think I put the brick down. And the little tiny chip was like, ah! <laughs> into my eye. A common question that I get asked on all my videos <laughs> is, um, well, what's the, what's the rate in Melbourne? Uh, and it's pretty funny because it could be on any video. Uh, so what's going on guys? Uh, I'm building my first house. Yeah, but what's the rates in Melbourne? <laughs> or, hey guys, I'm going to show you how to build a corner. Yeah, but... What's the rates in Melbourne? <laughs> so, I thought I'd just cover that <laughs> um, quickly, what the rates are in Melbourne. And um, with, uh, with Magicon at the moment, I'm getting, oh, pretty much with all, all jobs really, it, it varies between a dollar thirty, oh, a dollar thirty, dollar forty, maybe dollar fifty. Some people pay less because um, in Melbourne it's uh, oh just anywhere really they sort of undercut each other, which is a big issue in bricklaying. So um, that's sort of the that's sort of the range any, anyway. But um, other places in the world uh, that have commented and shared their rates, um, it's almost about the same as well, so I don't know what the conversion is um, between here and other countries, but um, it's about, it should be about the same. Oh, I don't really worry too much about rates um, because I've just started out, uh, I've just started out my business, so more just concerned about making a good name um, and uh, doing a good job I guess first before I can start um, talking about things like that so yeah for anyone that was wondering um, it's about it's about there yeah between dollar ten to dollar fifty though I've never laid for a dollar fifty um, it's more like yeah sort of in that range I suppose so yeah. <laughs> Another question I get asked all the time is, um, why don't you put something under your, your mud boards? Uh, I've seen all, all the videos with the scaffold, so like this video and um, some of our uh, bigger videos as well. Um, so I'm aware that if you put something under, it makes it a bit easier, but um, the, the other thing is that if you have, you're putting something under it to lift it high, especially something like a milk crate, which is quite a decent height, you make it easier for yourself, but you just make it that much harder for your, whoever's doing the mud. So a labourer or the apprentice and the whole point of, especially a labourer is to make your job easier anyway. So if you're um, just lifting up the mud board, you're just making it harder for them when they're already making it easier for you. That's my, that's my opinion anyway, but I figure I just, plus I've, I've always had it like that anyway, so it's not that much of a issue for me, but, um, yeah. Oh, I don't know, because I, I think even just, if you were to do that on... If you were to do that on something like a, the taller trestles, like the red trestles, um, and you put a milk crate on that, how, how are they supposed to get mud up for you? So, you know what I mean? So a bit of a, bit of a give and take. Um, I'm not really mixing mud anymore, so may as well just make it a little bit easier for whoever's doing the mud. Um, and yeah, just keep going, I guess. Take care of my back. I don't need to put something underneath the boards. <laughs> my back is fine. <laughs> Another common question I get on 
on our um, channel is uh, what's the what's an average um, oh what's a yeah what's a bricklayer making on average and um, from what I know in Melbourne maybe even Australia is that the rate is around the rate is between 35 and 50 an hour and the reason why the gap is so big is because it depends on the sort of work that you're doing so um, yeah because in bricklaying or bricklaying in Australia pretty much anywhere you're doing different types of work and whatever's more complex I guess the rate will be higher or if it's commercial then the rates will be higher um, but yeah Alright guys, so as you can see the uh, brick works up, um, we had a bit extra mud to do a seal as well and um, a couple of seals around the corner but uh, I hope you guys um, enjoyed the, the vlog, uh, you know, oh and time lapse as well, <laughs> yeah um, stay tuned for next week's video and um, I'll catch you guys on the next one, um, if you want to uh, see any more videos of ours um, check out our page and uh, if you want to have a chat or something or see um, some of our other updates check out our Facebook page as well at Bricks by Ty too um, and I post when the job's complete and um, and just other stuff on there too if you want to go check it out but um, thanks again for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Oh yeah make sure you guys subscribe as well <laughs>